Hi there! In this video, I'm going to share with you why you need statistics. So, let's get started. Uh, suppose that you are producing some bars of a given material and that your customer is asking you that the length of these bars is 3 inches. So, this is your target value. Now, suppose that this is the set of all possible values of length, of the length of your bars. And 3 is right here. This is 3, your target value. Well, maybe you will be able to produce bars that have a, an average length of 3 inches. But the point is, what is the distribution of your bars length around 3? What is the standard deviation of your process? This is variability. This is variability. And this, it is exactly what you have to fight every day in your manufacturing business. Because variability will always exist. And the point is, how variable is your process? Because you, can, you could have um, a very narrow distribution of values around three. You could have uh, Y distribution of values around 3, but uh, this is a problem or is not a problem on the basis of your specification limits. Specification limits, the upper specification limit and lower specification limit, are something that are given, usually given by, by the law or by your customer or again by your boss why not but usually it is the customer that asks you that your bars will uh, have a length that is three on the average but not less than let's say for example 2.8 which is the lower specification limit and 3.2 which is the upper specification limit so as you understand the point is how how much variability you have around your target value because 3 is nice Okay, you have an average of three, but it is not enough to describe your process because the full description of your process is given by your mean value and your standard deviation, which is how much you how much variability you have around your target value. Well, now consider that you could also have this kind of situation. This is three, your target value. And unfortunately, your process lives here. It is centered on another value. And maybe even worse, you have a production line which is called A, and then you have another one which is called B, and another one which is called C. And all of your lines, as you can see from this awful picture, sorry for the picture, have different standard deviations and different locations, which means different mean values. So on the average, you could see that, okay, you are pretty much around three, but uh, actually you are producing three distinct families of products because you have three different locations and you also have three different standard deviations which means that your product is not just one product you have three distinct products that you are selling as the same product and obviously this is not a good thing and overall what happens to your what happens to your overall variability it happens that your overall variability is masked, masked by the overlapping of the of these three distinct families. So you have a huge variability 
even greater than it, than it should be and than it could be because you have the overlap of distant distributions. Well, up to now we have understood that variability is definitely an issue. Now, um, let me get a deeper dive into the topic using the words from Jack Welch, former CEO at General Electric. Jack Welch said, your customer doesn't see the mean of your process. He only sees the variability around the target that you have not removed. In almost all cases, this variability has significant customer impact. It is definitely true. It is always true. But now, the next point is that variability is definitely a statistical concept. So you need statistics to manage variability. And that is why you cannot improve a process, you cannot improve a product, you cannot improve anything from a manufacturing point of view if you do not use statistics. Because what you are fighting against is variability, which is absolutely a statistical concept. And if you do not use statistics to fight statistics, how can you do it? How can you win the fight? So that is why you need statistics, because it is absolutely the only weapon you have against the worst enemy that manufacturing has, that is variability. Well, the, the current definition of quality, of industrial quality, is that the quality is inversely proportional to variability. A common definition of industrial quality is that quality is inversely proportional to variability. So the more variability you have, the lesser quality you have in your process. Now, the two pictures that you can see here are taken by the Bible of quality statistics, that is Introduction to uh, Statistical Control by Mr. Douglas Montgomery and these two pictures are about a real use case. Let's start from this one on the left. This is a story, this is the story of an automotive company, an American automotive company that had a plant opened in Japan. Now consider this, an American company, American technology, American ownership, American process but in Japan. Well, Japanese people from 1946, they were using and are still using statistical quality control everywhere for everything in every field of, of their industry. So they are really, really strong with it and they apply this, the, these weapons, these tools always to every aspect of their processes. And what happened to this, uh, to this American company is that they found out that in America, the warranty costs were absolutely higher than in Japan for the same product, the same line, the same technology. And you know why? The answer is here. The answer is here. Japanese en engineers, they were applying statistics and statistical process control. And so their distribution was really, really narrow compared to the American one, which was definitely wider. And being wider means higher variability, a larger standard deviation, which means that compared to your um, specification limits, you have many more problems. So again, this is one of the main historical use cases where Statistics showed that without the application of the statistical and mathematical methods to quality control and quality improvement, you are really, really in a serious problems and you cannot fight the problem, you cannot win, you cannot find the solution, you cannot improve anything in your process. So this is why we need statistics.